What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we started off the Seasides, we completed Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 Seasides. And in this episode, hopefully we're going to complete Chapter 3, and maybe even 4. Um, I was surprised by how quickly we made our way through the first couple of them last time, but they were really enjoyable experiences, so I'm definitely looking forward to what we have available here. I may have to take a little bit of a break um, in the middle to check up on something else, but alright. Really not messing around, are we? If I had to guess, I'm gonna have to go diagonal so I can time things a little bit better. So let's see here. This music is so hype. Can I just say that right now? Ooh, almost made it through pretty pretty quickly on my first try. This this is such Mega Man Network Transmission music. For those of you that have played that game, I actually love that game, as imperfect as it is. But this is such Mega Man Network Transmission music. Oh no! <laughs> I went... Oh man. Darn it. I should have tried to go from, uh, lower. Wow, now that's the part that's giving me difficulty. Not what I expected. Just confirm, yeah, I've only got one dash to work with. There we go. Okay. So these things drop when we land on them, right? Oh, that's gonna be tough. Oh! Wait. Does it have a stopping point, or will it go, like, all the way down? It'll go... Let's see here. Ooh. How do I want to do that part? Hmm. I probably need to dash up and then use that... Oh, I need to use that mechanic from the end of the... Summit B-side to get up onto that platform, which will then fall, and I'll need to do the same thing to get up there. Alright. Darn, a little bit too early. Yeah, that was still, still too early. Been a bit, but I'll get it. Tried to wait a little bit longer there. Went early again. There we go. Nice. Alright, this is probably it. I love that these are all kind of just like three rooms, where it's like one like introductory type challenge, one that introduces you to the mechanic, and then one that is just super hard. <laughs> wow. Alright, so let's um you know let's let's work our way back, but wow, what a room. So we start here, and we need to jump off and dash over there, wall jump up, regain our jump, fall down, dash across, wall jump up, regain our dash, fall down, dash across, wall jump up. Obviously the spacing here is probably pretty tight, the platforms, or the patterns, are meant to not be very easy. We get our dash back here, we jump off of this wall, dash to the right, regain our dash, dash up. We can afford, well, can we? Do we have stamina? Yeah, we, we probably can. Or we might not be able to, but we, we might be able to cling to the left to breathe for a moment. And then we dash 
um, to the right, re regain our dash, dash to the right again, and then dash upright, and we can land there and breathe for a moment. Then we're going to need to dash over into this, dash up, huh, are we really going to have enough space there? I feel like that's pretty far away, maybe the wind will pick up, maybe not. Maybe, oh, maybe the boss guy's head will show up and we're supposed to dash and then land on his head and then get our dash back and then do that and then do the same thing where we land on his head, dash up to get that, land on the right side, that'll move over to the right, fall on that, dash up, jump on his head or something, and then do that. I feel like that's what actually is going to happen, so, alright. Well, oh, I knew it! <laughs> Not that early, though. I did not anticipate that happening so early. Alright, here we go. Ooh, that was really close. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to cling there. No, why did I do that? Why? And I have to remember that the, the crystals regain my... Or replenish my, um stamina, so that should definitely be something I try to do. Also, that was a pretty neat strategy there, in terms of just kind of like, getting the timing down. Although it obviously didn't uh, come to fruition there. Oh! Almost. Dropped a little bit too low. Oh, really? That's what I messed up on? Darn. I took way too long in there. I really should have been moving faster. Part of what makes it tough is that the whole screen goes crazy whenever he uh, does his attack. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I thought I hit the spike there. Oh, and I waited too long again. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that screen effect when he's doing his thing, definitely distracting. I don't know why I didn't even dash there. Probably because I was distracted. I felt like I was almost too fast there. There we go. Oh! I messed up that timing. Darn. Alright, well, at least there's this awesome music to jam out to. Too early. Wait, what? Did I not land on that? I guess not. <laughs> Caught me off guard for sure. Mm, and I was too early there. I was looking ahead and I could kind of tell. But I uh, did nothing to fix it. Oh man, why is that little segment... I thought of all like the different parts, like that would actually be one of the easier segments. And honestly, it, it probably is. I don't know why it's giving me so much difficulty though. Probably got a mix of me looking ahead at what else I need to do, in addition to all of the uh, effects on screen going on. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay, so. Wow, that is going to be a really tough segment. <laughs> that is definitely going to be the hardest part of the level. Which is probably why it's the end. But, um, wow, that is going to be tough. I'm just trying to think. I've got to bait him into being low enough for me to be able to jump onto him after dashing in that middle segment.
No! Darn, too early again. <sighs> I feel like part of the, the frustration, just about anything in life, really, comes from the difference in, like, actualized difficulty versus perceived difficulty, right? So you get really upset when something is giving you a lot more, like, more difficult of a time than you it would expect it to be. All right, so, all right, aside from that, let's, let's plan out real quick. So we need to, as he's moving from the left to the right, right, as this head is dashing across the screen, we need to... We need to be in the middle of those two crystals. So I need to hit one of the crystals and then... Ooh, I've got an idea. I don't know how well it'll work, but... We need to jump off of the head while it's between the two crystals so that we can get from the first crystal to the second crystal to the next platform. And then we'll pause again and rethink the plan. But I think what I'm going to do is stay on the platform. I think that's the height that I want the head to be at. And then when he like starts to charge up his attack, I'll dash into the crystal and then dash upright. And I think that should do it. <sighs> Let's give it a go. Oh man. So I think that was like close. I think I was like on the right track. Um, I had just hit his head a little bit too early. So I think what that means is I need to dash a little bit earlier. That was close. There we go. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna wait actually. Oh, what? Ah, oh, man. Wait, what? No! Uh, it's that little, like, lip of the, uh, the roof there that keeps getting me. Okay. I should just jump over real quick. Okay, so now, again, uh, I need to do a little bit earlier this time. Well, that works. Not exactly what I had in mind, but, um, we'll take those. So now I need to, actually I'm just gonna do that real quick. So I have to time it so that I jump off his head in that middle area, like right where the word quit is, <laughs> and then can dash over. Ooh, or do I want to try to dash up into the right and then land on him and then get my dash back? That might be the way to go. Let's see here. Oh no! <laughs> Darn it. That's tough. I still don't know which one is the proper way to go, per se. If I do the latter thing I mentioned, the, the second strategy, I'll definitely be able to get more height. I should have, um, I'm actually going to scout again real quick on whether or not I think I'll need my dash after I wall cling on that last, last rock. So when I wall cling on this, you know, I bet I'm gonna I'm not gonna need it. It's gonna move to the right, and then I'll when it stops, I'll use that momentum to jump onto the crystal. And then I'll have to dash onto the head and then dash through the crystal heart. That's gonna be really difficult, but I think I think I can safely use my dash there. So that's what I'll do. Alright, the timing's all off there, so I was like, I'll give it a go, but we'll see. I've got a nice little uh, cycle here. Okay. Oh no! That was not a successful attempt. I'm also shocked. I was definitely behind from my, my first climb of the level, but then by the end of it I was too early. <laughs> Ooh. 
interesting. so tough. I feel like if I, um, I mean, I, I obviously got the timing a couple times, but even then, I don't think it was really the timing I was originally planning for. I feel like it was a lot earlier, and so I think I need to rework my thoughts on the strategy at that part if I want to more reliably get that, that head bonk. That was a nice little... Uh, improvising. Alright, let's see here. No! <laughs> I tried to anticipate landing on his head, like, close to where the, uh, the first crystal is. But that obviously did not work out very well. Ah, oh, really? Darn. This one. Okay, so part of it is also if I time my jump correctly, it's not just a bounce, but I can get a lot more air off of off of that that head bounce. Okay. Oh no! Oh, that was so close. <laughs> so close. Oh man. But that's definitely uh Definitely progress, right? So, um, we'll take that. But wow, to be that close. Something about my timing had to have been quite off, though. Because it didn't seem like I was even close to, you know, landing a, a head bomb. Aw, oh, man. Messed up my timing. This one. Nope. It's the lips of those platforms again, keeping me from uh, climbing back up. That's annoying. Alright. Aw, oh, man. That's just a little bit too early there. No! Nice save, though. What? What? <laughs> Come on! Oh. It's tough to anticipate that timing. Get it too early again. You know what, I, I bet I don't have to wait there. I bet if I get the timing right, I should be able to make it over those platforms. I feel like in the in the spirit of fast-paced platforming, level design, they want me to be able to make it through that. Let's go. Oh man, that was so close, I almost got that. But yeah, I think, I think we're gonna try and get that timing so that we don't stop at all. Oh, really? That's like the first time in forever I've died there. <laughs> Alright. Wait, no! Oh, I didn't make it on top of the platform. That platform. Such a little change, right? Just those, like, why did I hit the cling button instead of the dash button there? <laughs> That's not very helpful, Nick. Um, just like such a subtle change, right? Those lips at the 
edges of the platform make such an impact. I don't know what happened with the animation, but I thought I went up for some reason. Like, I obviously fell down, right? But I thought for some reason, I like flew upwards and was very distraught. Let's get back into focus here. Aw, oh, man, I missed it. And that was too early again. I am not on point with those timings. I feel like I don't quite have the, uh, the feel yet for... Oh, man, not quite. I didn't trust myself on that jump to get the bonk, so naturally I didn't have enough momentum going to the right to make it. I am... <laughs> it's the screen shaking. It's totally the screen shaking. The screen, it shakes so much whenever you dash, and then when he does his thing, that like... Sometimes it's so tough to tell, like, am I moving somewhere, or like, am I, did I accidentally dash, or am I falling, or... What is the, the exact spacing I need to be at? Come on! Oh no, I thought, okay, maybe again, I would be able to just continue forward, but maybe I, maybe I should wait there? Or maybe I just don't need to, uh, what's it called? Maybe I don't need to get that extra little dash boost there. When, before I jump on him there. Huh, interesting. Okay. Nope. Hmm. Almost. Okay. So, I don't need to. It's certainly helpful in uh, getting over that spike block comfortably. What's interesting is that, I mean, I didn't feel like my timing was that different. It had to have been. But... Aw, oh, man. All right. Oh, wait, no! Why did I do that? Darn it. I do feel like I'm starting to, as I more actively think about the timing, know when he's going to burst forward and uh, when I need to be jumping from platforms if I want to be hitting certain heights. Oof, that save though. Alright, let's see here. Ooh, that was, that was a risky jump. Darn it. That was a deadly one. <laughs> Okay, why did I... All of my jumps that time were off. Like, I, I clipped the top of these walls multiple times, and... Something, something was off there. But, uh... No longer. Well, spoke a little bit too soon. And I jumped a little bit too early. Alright, let's focus. There we go. Oh man. The timing there looks rough. I'm trying to figure that out. Because that's twice now that I've gotten there and he's just been way above where I'm trying to be. No. No, I timed that really poorly. <sighs> but yeah, that's definitely the next uh, big opportunity for improvement. Just figuring that part out. Oof. What's interesting is like, it feels like those cycles are so different sometimes. But I know that they always, they, they should be starting out the same. I mean, I, 
I guess these are, but I don't have a guarantee that the later parts of the level are, but sometimes it feels like it's so close, right? Wait, what? I totally hit jump! Oh, man! Ah, what a waste of an attempt. <laughs> it's like, there's some part that's like difficult and keeping you from progressing and you just want to like practice that one part. You just want to get good at that one part. You want to give it an attempt and then you die on something stupid. <laughs> You're like, oh, come on. Oh man. Again. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, what happened? No, <laughs> come on. Oh, man, you didn't see that. Oh, you need to see that. <laughs> you need to see that. That hurts so much. Oh, man. Wow, I can't even believe that, that happened. Alright, alright. I'll go back to being patient and going through this the same way I always do. No! No! I honestly don't even think I need that crystal. If I just, um, place myself correctly. That whole time was off from my very first little, like, segment. Uh-oh. The save, though. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah, I I'm gonna try and do it without that crystal, because I really don't think I'll need it. And then, honestly, it may even just be more reliable to try to position the um, his head as a platform compared to trying to utilize that dash. If anything, why did I do that again? If anything, I can try to use that as a uh, like a safety mechanism. That crystal, that is. Darn it. Oh, I, I got the jump, and then I doubted myself. Alright, place the head down there. Jump. Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna... Yes. Nice. There we go. Strategy coming into play just, just like we planned. Whew. Crystal heart obtained. Oh, that was that was a fun level. That was a fun level. I will stand by not liking how much the screen shakes from everything going on. But that was fun. That was fun. All the dashing and the, the wall jumping and, and everything. It's good stuff. Whew. Need a little bit of water. Alright. I gotta do something real quick. But then... You guys know the drill, we're gonna give chapter four a go. It's only been, how long have we been recording? I think it's only been like 20 minutes or so. So yeah, we should be able to give chapter four a go, but one second, guys. All right. Whew. It is time for the Golden Rage. So we got a lot of this going on. And I suspect it won't be very easy. How am I gonna... Oh! Interesting! That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And are we already on the, uh, the super long room? Oh, no, we're not. Okay. They're just giving us the visibility. That's appreciated. The music here is so good. Like it. 
very chill, very different from the previous chapter, but but good all the less, or nonetheless. Um, not all the less. So, we have this movable platform here. Um, we're gonna need to... Hmm, what are we gonna need to do? We can move it to the left and to the right. We we'll wanna move it to the right, navigate it, and then move it to the left, and then... I'll need to replenish my stamina, presumably. Hmm. Let me, let me see how this is gonna work. Can I move this? No, I can't. Okay, that was, I was like, am I just like doing this all wrong? I need to save my dash for that part. So. <laughs> all right, let's see here. So I immediately have to jump over the spikes. I don't think I even need to bounce off that wall, honestly. Ah, oh, almost. And then I need to use my dash again up there. I can already tell you this is going to be a tough level. Ooh, I should have just... Mm, I see what I should have done there. I already used so much of my stamina. I'm dead. <laughs> Didn't do it fast enough. Alright. And now, we're on the, uh, the tough room. Oh no, we have the clouds, guys. We have the clouds. At least it's not the feathers. Um, pink cloud to fly over this way. Pink cloud, we need to definitely not jump on or bounce at all, really. And then, oh, we'll just need to walk off to the right, dash up, wall jump off of that, pretty much, um, onto that. And then, okay. Hmm. Let's see here. Actually, no, I should have kept looking, but I don't... I want to, like, do a little experiment. Wow, this really just keeps on going. Holy cow. How am I supposed to get from there to there? I mean, I've got maybe one idea, but... Alright, well, I guess we'll find out, right? What I wanted to see was, uh... Okay, yeah, it doesn't maintain my, uh, my jump when I do that. Oh! <laughs> I got the answer to my question, didn't I? That's how we're gonna do it. Wow, that is... Alright, I can probably just jump here, actually, if I wanted to. Oh my goodness! That is some intense wind. Darn. Well, that's gonna make this a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Hmm. Just landing on this one cloud is proving to be difficult. Because I can't really move back at all. Oh man. Do they really... Do they really want me to do that? Hmm. There's no clinging to that. Oh, almost. Yeah, so there's no clinging to the walls on the left here. I need to, like, just tap that cloud, dash up onto the next one. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, and I can't go back. I should have just gone with it. 
What's interesting is that I was able to uh, at least jump off of it. And not get killed by those uh, spikes. Okay, okay. We're going to pause for a moment because <laughs> we are very rapidly getting pushed over. So pretty soon we're going to need to jump off here, dash into that um, turquoise ball. And then we're going to have to go down right and then upright. And I feel like they're not going to be lined up just perfectly. So we're going to have to ab abort early <laughs> and make some adjustments as needed. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, I aborted too early. I got scared. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I was like, is it going to come back? I guess not. I started to climb, and then it comes back. Okay, so I do need to get a little bit of height off of that, I think. I need to do some sort of jump. Oh, man. It's so tough with the wind. I should just try and like fade to the right. And then just go straight up. Ugh. What's tough is you have to like stay on the platform. <laughs> it's tough to just keep yourself on the platform for the entirety of the bounce down to bounce up animation of the clouds. There we go. No, <laughs> and then I die on that. Of all things. Oh, almost. Now you immediately got pushed off. Wait, what? What? That is not what I was pressing. I did not want to go in that direction. Come on. Ah. Oh. Whoa, music got all weird there. Oh, whoa. What? What was I doing there? That was weird. So after here, I go to the right. Right? It felt like it ended early. Okay, so... I think what'll happen is, before I hit this spike wall that is now in the center of the screen, it's gonna end, and so I'll start falling and need to, like, fall to go to the right and then dash upright to grab onto this block. And then I'll need to very quickly jump over the spikes on top of it and wall jump off onto this, where I'll go upright. Eh. Should I go upright? Yeah, I should probably go upright. And then I land on that, and then I jump off, and I land on that, and yeah. Okay. All right. I see you, game. No, I already screwed it up. <laughs> I'm shocked I made it out of that. Alright. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Okay, so I just need to fall there. I don't really need to do anything until I need to, uh... What's it called? Dash upright to get onto that arrow platform. Almost. I feel like we're actually pretty close to beating this one. Maybe I'm underestimating those last platforms, those last stone platforms. But I do feel like... I don't see them, at least, as that big of an obstacle as uh, maybe they'll turn out to be. Oh, oh, I almost made it, guys. I almost made it. Wow. Oh, man. It's good to know that that could even be a solution. Is that I don't even necessarily need to uh, grab on to the other side. I can possibly just uh, dash and, you know, fall onto that. Oh, so close. I wonder... It's probably possible. I probably just need to be really tight on the timing. Oh, 
that's not gonna be it. Oh, wait, no, that was it. <laughs> but I was holding the wrong direction because uh, I thought I overshot it. Oh man. Over. Wow, that ended a lot more quickly than I thought it would. I was gonna say, there's no way without a dash I'm able to make it onto that pink cloud. I'm, what a. All effort, all resistance is futile. Okay, so I definitely need to go upright, um, just based on how far that actually shoots you. So it's good to at least have that figured out. Oh no! As I say that, I go straight to the right again. At the very least, I feel like this, um, this first half of the section, I feel like we're getting a pretty good grip on. Again, he says as he dies twice in a row on the uh, the first half. <sighs> oh, so that's the tough part. Is that it's they they make it difficult to approximate how far to the right you're going to be moving while you're in the air, so you have to platform and not overshoot anything, right? Let's go! <laughs> There's the Super Meat Boy coming in. That tight, tight platforming. Whew, that one only took us like 15 minutes. Maybe not even. Wow, that was, that was good. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse, um, both in terms of difficulty, but also in terms of joy um, because of the pink clouds. But no, that was, that was tight. And so with that, we have four of the seasides completed. I believe we have four left. There's chapter five, which has a seaside. Chapter six, which has a seaside. Chapter seven, which has a seaside. I'm curious to see, does chapter eight have a seaside? It does, okay. So we have four more seasides and then chapter nine. But I do think we are going to Call it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Those were, I, I'm loving the seasides. To me, it, it really strikes that balance of um, really good, well-designed challenge um, without overstaying its welcome, right? I feel like I'm not getting lost in these levels that they're not going on and on. Um, it's just a couple quick rooms at the beginning to kind of get you accustomed to the type of mechanic they're going to utilize in their ultimate challenge. And then one really difficult room uh, that generally has been really fun to, to play through and then you're done. You've overcome that really intense challenge without having to, you know, work your way all the way up to it through, you know, rooms of less difficulty. So yeah, I, I like the structure of the seasides, even though they probably feel really short to some, um, like lesser content to some degree. Uh, I, I would definitely disagree with that notion and um, I'm enjoying them quite a bit. So anyways, I'm looking forward to the next one or two we may even be able to complete in, in the next episode. But until then, this has been Night Zero and this mission is complete. <laughs>